everyone. So I've had stacks of people ask me about SAM. They want to know why I'm building it, what it is, how it works, what the underlying tech behind it is. Well, let's start off with why I built SAM. Originally, I needed a new storage solution for my 8mm reels. I've got my pick and place in the garage now, which is great, but it's taking up pretty much the whole space in there. And I've got limited storage for all of my reels, and I've got stacks of them. Uh, when I started the project, I had 123 reels that I needed to store. I'm lucky, I've only got about 87 right now, but that number keeps going up and down depending on what I'm working on. So I wanted a system that I could just put all my reels in and then easily find them afterwards. Now that was going to be some type of tech space system, maybe through my parts, where I'd be able to find out where it is and maybe it would flash an LED in front of the reel. Well, as usual, I overcomplicate everything and I've come up with this really awesome solution that I call SAM. So SAM's made up of two parts. There's a Raspberry Pi that's running both voice recognition and text-to-speech, and then there are all of the real rack modules that are completely modular, that are running off Tiny Pico Nanos, and are using Bluetooth to communicate with SAM. So it's a completely wireless solution. Other than power to the racks, which happens through a USB hub, that's it. There are no physical wires connecting each module to each each other or anything physically connecting the modules to SAM. Each module is set up in a rack of 10. You can hold 10 8mm reels. I do have other reel sizes that I obviously store on my shelf, but 8mm is the ones that I really needed to target. All of it's using my own custom software, both on SAM and on the reel racks. This is what I'm trying to solve storage for. As you can see right now, there's stacks of reels just sitting here. Every time I want to go find something, I have to take a pile out, look through them all, and try to find out which one it is that I want, and it makes it very hard to do inventory management. Since working on SAM, I've actually started extending a lot of SAM's capabilities to more than just real storage. I've now got a full inventory system where I can query SAM about how much stock I've got a particular product. I can tell SAM to add quantities to that particular item or reduce quantities. So every time I go and take stuff off my shelf for an order and pack it into a bag, I just have to call out to Sam and say, hey Sam, reduce Tiny Pico USB-C by five, and Sam will take five off my inventory stock. Pretty cool. So let's have a look at one of these PCBs that just came out of the oven, plug it in, and show you how it works. So this is the PCB that's at the heart of each of the modular wheel racks. It's got a, a Tiny Pico Nano on it, both powered and programmed via the USB. It's got a one-wire EEPROM to know what type of board it is. It's got some audio stuff, 10 RGB LEDs, sideways LEDs, and 10 time-of-flight sensors. These modular reel racks are not connected to each other, and they're not connected to SAM. Everything about how they work happens over BLE. So it's a wireless solution other than power coming into here. Each one of these PCBs gets put inside a 3D printed reel rack. And when I say modular, the whole thing is designed to be a single unit for 10 reels that can be put anywhere. So each one has got these two little extra feet sticking out the end, which hold the PCB in place. And the PCB just sits, lines up, slides in, and gets pushed into place, and will not fall out because of those two little feet holding it in place and the LEDs line up at the front with the transparent filament. Here is a 3D printed piece that is used to actually build these racks. And when I plug this in with power, you'll see it light up. It's going through and assigning all of the time of flight sensors, their own unique I squared C address, and then Right now, it's sitting there and won't do anything until Sam gives it an ID. So this is a smart board. No setup has to happen per board. All I have to do is flash the firmware on it, which I've done. And right now, Sam is turned off. He's not accepting new requests on purpose, because I didn't want this to happen at this point. But with Sam running, when this gets powered up, it registers itself. Sam tells it what it is, who it is, and then that's it. Off it goes. I don't have to do anything in terms of giving it an ID or making it unique in any way. Once it's been registered with SAM, it doesn't matter where I put it, it'll always be able to identify all of these 10 different positions with SAM, no matter what. 
So let's unplug this and put this with some other real racks I've got on my desk and see how it works. Okay, so now I can take this new module and just plug it in. And those pink LEDs that flashed indicated that it's now set itself up on Sam. So now I can start using it. Hi Sam. Hello unexpected maker. Locate empty. Flashing empty slots. So I can now take a reel and I can just insert it. Contents, 0603, 10 microfarad capacitor. Okay, I'm adding 0603, 10 microfarad capacitor into that slot. Oh, a new reel. Please tell me its contents. Contents, 0603, 10 microfarad capacitor. I'm adding 0603 10 microfarad capacitor into that slot. Oh, a new reel. Please tell me its contents. Contents 0402 100k resistor. Okay, I'm adding 0402 100k resistor into that slot. Locate 0402. Flashing 0402. Locate 10 microfarad. Flashing 10 microfarad. How many tiny Pico USB C? Sorry, no tiny Pico USB C found. How many tiny S2? Sorry, no tiny S2 found. Add 50 tiny S2. Adding 50 tiny S2. How many tiny S2? You have 50 tiny S2 in stock. Reduce tiny S2 by 5. Reducing quantity of tiny S2 by 5. So Sam, still a work in progress. I've been working on it for months and it'll be many more months still for it does everything that I want it to do, but it's progressing really well. I've got four wheel racks made here. I've got four in the garage right now. These all need to be moved in. I haven't actually done the full loadout of all of my components yet because I'm still tweaking things. I'm still changing software and I keep thinking of new ideas and new things I want to try. I've learned a stack about text-to-speech and about voice recognition. Uh, I know that the Raspberry Pi is pretty limited as good as it is, it's still pretty limited in what you can do. Uh, for instance, one of the main issues is the range of voice libraries available for it. For text-to-speech, it's pretty poor. It just doesn't have the, the grunt and the processing power to do better quality than what you've been hearing. And right now, probably the biggest issue is I have to do online voice recognition because all of the solutions that will run on the Raspberry Pi for offline are pretty poor. They all need to be heavily trained and unfortunately for something like electronics, which is very not the usual training data, it means that I'd have to do everything from scratch. And even with some decent training data, it's still nowhere near as good as what Google are providing for their online. You can see how fast and reliable it is. So for now, I'm just going to stick with the online Google API because it's working great. It's all written in Python. I'm using the speech recognition library for the capture and I'm using eSpeak for the text-to-speech on the Raspberry Pi and it's all MicroPython on the real racks. I've got some other ideas of things I'd like to also make other than the real rack that will use Bluetooth to communicate back with Sam so stay tuned on that but um, yeah I'm pretty happy with how it's progressing I'm not getting to spend a lot of time on Sam right now because I'm pretty busy with other things but I'm slowly chipping away. I hope you enjoyed this little intro into Sam 
If you want to know more about Sam in the future and see more of my videos about Sam, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks to all my patrons. Until next time, catch you later. Bye. Bye, unexpected maker.